Hi guys, welcome back. Sorry it's been such a long time since my last video. I haven't filmed anything for at least two months. But I am back today and I'm back with something completely new I haven't done before. I've got my lovely friend Katie here with me. Hello guys. Uh, and I'm going to be doing a lovely evening slash prom makeup look on her. This is the look. So if you are interested how to achieve this look, please keep on watching. The first step, which is foundation. So for Katie's skin, I'm going to use Estee Lauder Max Cover Foundation in medium deep. And I'm going to mix it with Bobbi Brown Foundation in natural full. Um, this will give me enough coverage for Katie's skin and her skin is already being prepped with skincare or uh, beforehand. So I'm just going to apply. I'm roughly applying the product and then I will blend in with a buffing brush which will give me more of a full coverage. This one is by Real Techniques and it's the buffing brush. Next step will be corrector and concealer. For corrector I'm going to use MAC Prep and Prime in Bright Forecast. And for concealer I'm using the Pro Concealer HD in Natural. My next step will be to contour Katie's face. I'm going to use uh, HD Pro Concealer in color medium bisque. I'm going to use this to contour the outline of her face and also the cheeks. The brush I'm going to use is by Eco Tools and it's called Multitasking Brush. Using a small blending brush, I'm just going to blend out the contour or around the nose. To set Katie's face, I'm going to use MAC Sculpting Powder in Light Plus. And the brush I'm going to use is by Barry Neros and it's called Bookie Brush. I'm just going to set the skin all over. I'm also setting the under eyes with the same powder. contour Katie's face again by adding bronzer. I'm going to use NARS Casino Bronzer and the brush I'm going to use is by Bobbi Brown. This is their powder brush. I'm just going to add warmth to the skin. For a blusher, I'm going to use my favourite Stila blusher and this is in pink glow. And the brush I'm going to use is by Bobbi Brown again and it's a sheer powder brush.
For highlighter, I'm going to use my favorite at the moment MAC highlighter in Show Gold. This is a new one they have and it's the Extra Dimension Skin Finish uh, highlighter. And the brush I'm using is by Zweeva in 105. It's the highlighting brush. Moving on to Katie's eyes, I'm going to prep them with a MAC paint pot in soft ochre. So after I've added soft ochre on the eyes, I'm just going to set that cream base with a press powder and it's the same powder I used on the whole face. I just want to set so it stays on for longer time. So starting off with the eyeshadows, we're going for a grey silvery look. Um, so therefore I'm going to use the colour grey from this Bobbi Brown palette. So I'm going to add this colour into the crease um, as a start off base colour and then I will deepen with a, another shade. So the next step on Katie's eyes, after we've added the crease shadow, will be to deepen the inner and outer corner of her eye using this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in Steel 22. Moving on, I'm going to apply the same colour from the top on the lower lash line as well, just to join top and bottom. Going back to the top, uh, we are going to apply in that middle bit, we are going to apply a Ingolot eyeliner gel. Um, this is in colour 92 and it's this gorgeous silver which looks incredible as an eyeshadow. So I'm going to apply it all over her lid. Just making sure these corners are blended into the silver shadow as well. So to finish off this look, I'm going to use a gel eyeliner by Bobbi Brown. This is in colour Black Ink. And the brush I'm going to use is again by Bobbi Brown, it's the Ultra Fine Eyeliner Brush. We won't do a flick for this look, so just a very thin line near the lashes. We just want to complement the lashes, we don't want to go too dramatic. So, and then we're going to add the liner on the lower waterline. By making sure we blend those edges in as well. Add a bit of glowy finish to the eyeshadow. I'm going to use a sparkle eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown. And this one is Silver Moon. 
I'm just going to press a little bit of this lovely eyeshadow on top of the silver just to finish off. I'm going to use Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara just to give you a bit of volume and length. Put it down for me. On to Katie's eyebrows, I'm going to use a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in colour Saddle and the brush I'm using is by Zoeva and it's the 322 brow line brush. So I'm just going to add just where she needs. She's got gorgeous big eyebrows. I always like to clean up the edges of the brows, that's why I'm going to use a bit of a leftover from the foundation we've used on Katie's skin and using a flat brush I'm just going to go over the edges. Gorgeous look, I've picked two products for Katie's lips. One of them is a lip liner by Bobbi Brown and this is in colour Ballet Pink. And the lipstick we're going to use is the new Liquid Art Lipsticks by Bobbi Brown again. This is in colour Honey Bear. I'm just going to outline... Just look, I'm going to use MAC Studio Fix in Fix Plus and I'm just going to go over. So this is the final look on this tutorial on my lovely friend Katie. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!